Bonjour! Hello and welcome to Tamar Gale TV. I am your host, Tamar Gale, and today I want to speak about something that's really important in my life, and that is self-care. And what happens when we forget about our own self-care? Um, many of us women, we go through life uh, doing and doing and going and oftentimes most of our days are spent giving to everyone else and that doesn't leave a lot of time for taking care of ourselves. So many women spend most of their days giving to everyone else and we end up being mother and maid and wife and we're still holding down a, a job uh, outside the house and we're playing every role that society throws at us and really it's sometimes too much. No? Um, I don't even have children yet and sometimes it's a little bit too much for me, you know, to, to find time for my own self-care but it's something that is so important for us to nurture ourselves so that we can give to everyone else so that we're fulfilled enough to continue serving other people, serving our families, giving and loving. So this is a, this is a topic that is so important for, for everyone, but especially for women. In our culture and our society at the moment, the, the amount of women who are dealing with depression, the rates are, are skyrocketing, and women more so than men, and it's really because we're not taking the time that we need to nourish ourselves. So um, what happens when we put ourselves to the side and give to everyone else before, before ourselves? Um, we begin to carry around resentment and um, sometimes we even develop a habit of being passive aggressive and I watched uh, many women do this and I'm I'm guilty of it as well there was a time in my life when when I was carrying around this unknown um, resentment because I wasn't giving time for myself and I had to learn to acknowledge that and to speak up and ask for what it is that I need when I need it and and take that for myself. And I encourage everyone to do that as well, even my husband, when it's too much for him, when I feel him getting stressed because he's a giver, um, then I encourage him to take his time for himself. And that's something that is that is important for men as well. But as I said, it's really important for women, for women and for our feminine energy because our feminine feminine energy is a receiving energy and the masculine energy is a giving energy. And I know you've heard me speak about, uh, about that before, but I want to continue bringing this up to you so that you can understand that as a woman, we need to allow ourselves to receive. And allow your your men in your life to give to you. So when we carry around this resentment and we're being unfulfilled on all levels, then at the end of the day, sex becomes like just another chore that we have to check off the list instead of something that we really enjoy, something that we look forward to. And this is a huge, huge problem. Because who doesn't want to enjoy sex, right? Maybe you feel overwhelmed, uh, stressed, and exhausted. And this is, seems to be a normal state of being for many women in our culture. There are a few things, actually many things, you can do to change this and turn this around. And one of them is stepping into your feminine essence, um, honoring your truth, speaking your truth, and standing and connecting with your power. And this is what I call the wild woman. 
But another really big aspect of changing this around is learning how to practice self-care. I had learned to be a giver from my mother and um, growing up, I watched her and my grandmother be the givers of the family. Uh, it was kind of our society's role for women. But what I found was that it was creating um, this energy within me that was um, that I was also seeing in my mother. And it took me many years to realize this energy was um, more of a passive aggressive energy. And I decided that, you know what, this isn't how I wanted to live. This isn't the energy that I wanted to carry around with me, within me. And I didn't want to end up being what I saw other, uh, my mother um, going through. I didn't want that. Um, so I decided to change. And although I still love to, to give to those around me, and I'm still a giver, I have really learned how to take more time for myself. And I have learned the art of self-care. Um, and I love it now. Really, it's, I look forward to this every week. Learning self-care and the art of self-care comes in many different forms. And that is learning how to say no, um, setting boundaries in our relationships and in our life. And that is also learning how to receive from others. And it is learning how to speak up and speak your truth and taking the time for self-care rituals um, throughout the day. And that could be meditation, that could be taking a bath, that could be just reading a book, it could be um, having your nails done, it, it, whatever that means for you, it's taking time to do that and taking time to enjoy it, learning to enjoy it. So I take time for myself by taking long baths and I try to do this two or three times a week. I add Epsom salts, which are not only great for relaxing the muscles, but they're amazing for detoxing the body of chemicals and detoxing, detoxing um, energy, negative energy that maybe you've picked up throughout the day that doesn't belong to you. So Epsom salts are amazing to put in your bath. Um, so are Himalayan sea salts, but I think they're a little more expensive, but they are amazing. You can uh, add flowers, roses, or... Um, herbs to your bath. Sometimes I'll add rosemary or lavender for relaxing and lavender is amazing for the skin as well. So those are just um, a couple things that I do at home and light some candles. Candles are romantic. You can romance yourself and they're so relaxing. So play some relaxing music too. Great. I take time for dancing. Dancing puts me in touch with my body and my intuition. I chose to do belly dancing, but you can choose to do whatever type of movement um, or dance that feels right for you. Belly dancing was just in, line, in alignment with who I am. I also practice ancient rituals, and this is not only good for my body, but is really, really good for my mind and my spirit. And by Taking time to do all this um, allows me, and by, by taking time to do all this and honoring my body, it rejuvenates me and fills me enough so I can continue to give to those around me. It is worth taking just a little bit of time for yourself. So, are you interested in learning any of these ancient rituals? If so, let me know. And I would also love to know if you do spend any time on your self-care. And if so, I would love to hear maybe any of the um, self-care rituals, any of the self-care things that you do for you and how they benefit you, what you enjoy the most. And if not, then I encourage you to <laughs> 
to begin, begin even just one thing a week for yourself, you'll really feel the difference. Um, I am thinking about doing a Q&A once a month. So if you have any questions or um, things that you would, you would love me to speak about, then I encourage you to comment below and know that I am holding this space for you. Um, also connect with me through my Facebook page, which I'll leave here, and my website. You can connect with me there as well. But if you found this video to be useful, if you like the content, then I encourage you to like it. And if you resonate with what I'm sharing, then I encourage you to su subscribe to, to my videos uh, for weekly inspiration. Ciao. The chemicals in your body. <laughs> Sorry, I have my Christmas lights going. <laughs> Sorry, I'm wanting to speak French. <laughs> um. <laughs>